Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer and Jer watching Bali Star today. We just get into why Drake is scared of Kendrick Lamar. Now, fortunately, unfortunately, I follow some accounts on IG. You know what I'm saying? Like some meme account and. You know, they make funny ass memes and I mean vomity, bro. Like have me crying on the floor laughing, bro, you know what I'm saying? But thing is, they're huge Drake stands and they're in Drake's Delulu place, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking of like they got Drake's glizzy, you know what I'm saying? Like they they I don't even want to say it, but they basically got Drake's glizzy, you know what I'm saying, just patting their foreheads, you know what I'm saying, uh, and it's like, they're, <laughs> the memes that they make about this is just like, <laughs> it's laughable because it's so, it's like, bro, you really don't want to believe what's going on so effing much, so you make up excuses that are wildly un uh, 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 unimaginable. But it's really funny because you know it's just straight cap and it's just like bro you're really trying to make it seem like you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying you're comfortable in what you believe you feel me it's like you know you try to keep that place of delusion sounding so much like reality and it's like it's it's funny it's still funny it's a little saddening, but it's funny. It's funny as fuck. They make it still sound funny as hell, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> You're like, you stupid type shit, you feel me? Um, but, yeah, I mean, what? How has it been a week at the time of this recording since that this dropped and Drake has... Bro, went on... Free, dude did skits. Dude just said shit on stage. And dude went on pe dude went at people that were talking about the diss. You went at people that talked about the diss. People, you know what I'm saying? Even some artists that have uh called the diss out and you know, he It's like, bro, what are you doing? Drake, what are you doing, bro? We meet Mill dissed you, it took you less than a week. What, like three, four days before charged up his first this before dropping back to back? It took him three days before you dropped charged up, maybe two. But I get it. It's Kung Fu Kenny. K Dot. You feel me? Like he's not meek. Nah. You feel me? So I get it. Bide your patience, you know what I'm saying? Now you gotta come strategic. Strategic. Now, I don't know how all this he's doing is in means of strategy. You know what I'm saying? But maybe I don't see the vision. But nonetheless, bro. <sighs> Let's get straight on into it, man. Let's go. With it being well over a week since Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake in a fashion like we have never seen before on Future and Metro Boomin's chart topic Jesus. song like that, it's clear that while in the past... Drake may have been quick to clap right back at any rapper who's challenged him. He's taking an entirely different approach to this beef with Kendrick, and the reason why will shock him. Now, when it comes to Drake, since the entire world has stopped as Kendrick Lamar violated him in a way that people control have been waiting till, to see it's for control over a decade till. at this point, everyone has been Instead patiently going waiting at every to see Drake, who has historically at, at always been ready to throw out this is at everybody else peers. clap back at possibly his biggest adversary ever, and aside from some Instagram captions and rants at concerts, the rapper who once made fun of somebody like Meek Mill with a line like trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers has pretty much now done the exact same thing, and this lack of a genuine response Response is really damaging Drake's reputation in the hip hop world. Funny After being ready to circle. throw out disses at anybody who he's been at odds with over the years, Drake has always made himself seem battle ready regardless of the stature of the competition he was up against, but now, 
as Drake stands face to face with the obstacle of responding back to the one and only Kendrick Lamar. It seems like he's doing everything else but getting in the studio and sending back shots, and when you understand why this is, you have to really sit and question Drake's entire status in the rap game. Now, in full force, in a manner like we have never seen before, I like that Drake's video. greatness is being tested in a that way that can hard. truly have consequences on not just how the hip-hop world views him, but how the entire population respects and even wants new music from him as a whole. Now, in the past, Drake either beefed with targets that were too easy to destroy like Meek Mill, or even when they were lethal and damaged his reputation in the hip-hop world like Pusha T, were never big enough to stain his image to the entire world, but now, with not just Kendrick Lamar, but also Metro Boomin and Future and beyond that Rick Ross and even Kanye West all moving against him at one time. Drake is against a series yeah, of titles alone, where though. if he makes one yeah, wrong move, yeah. everything that his brand stands for can potentially be destroyed. Now, while Kanye West calling out Drake and saying he watched him when they performed together at their 2021 joint concert and Future and Metro Boomin throwing disses at him throughout their entire brand new album is one thing for Drake. What's really causing him to move differently than he ever has is the looming threat of Kendrick Lamar, who didn't just throw some of the most lethal shots that have ever been targeted his way on one of the most successful chart-topping songs that rap has ever seen and like that. But on top of the shots that have kicked this feud into full gear, Kendrick allegedly already has another full-length diss track on Drake ready to go, which people are saying could be career-ending. So with all of this... It's funny because the Drake meme pages that I follow again, they're like making fun of Kendrick because he's not dropping it. I'm like, bro, why would you drop a second diss track? Basically, probably a back-to-back, -back, maybe a back-to-back. -back. When the guy hasn't even responded yet. You don't even know what the heck he's going to say. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he could drop it. But, you know, if you're playing chess, maybe checkers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, most likely chess. May, uh, maybe chess. It's like you got to wait for the other guy to make his move. So that way you know how to king him. You know what I'm saying? Or checkmate him. You know what I'm saying? Like pressure looming over Drake from a rapper who is unanimously considered one of the most skilled and respected of all time. He can't just come back and throw out the standard type of disses that he has been relying on to clown his competition for years, but instead, he needs to come up with something much greater, and this is where the problem lies. Drake and his team are scrambling right now to find any sort of skeletons they can dig up from Kendrick Lamar's closet, also that Drake can paint Kendrick in a light where he can make a diss truly hold some weight against him, but the problem with this is, it's not that Kendrick Lamar is a perfect person and that he has never done horrible things in his life that could be used against him in a lyrical duel, because he sure has. But instead of letting his biggest rivals make him look like a fool, he just made an entire album about his failures as a person with his 2022 record, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. So in a way, by Kendrick showing us just how flawed of a man he already is, he has blocked off the route that Drake was going to try to take to win in a full-fledged beef against him. And when you understand this... It really shows you that Kendrick Lamar didn't just ignite this feud in about as insane of a fashion that an MC can, but he is really playing his competition like a chess master as he is not just actively coming at Drake, but he has already prepared and cut off the most lethal way possible that Drake could have came at him as a whole. So now with Drake really having no chance at telling us something about Kendrick Lamar's personal life to take the spotlight away from him, Kendrick has alleviated all of the gimmicks and potential shock value out of this beef and has really left Drake with one and one thing only, the sheer weight of his skill. With Drake having nothing to dig up, the only way he is going to be able to respond to Kendrick is by using his lyrical ability to write up the most clever and painful jabs that he possibly can, and with this, we will truly be able to see how good of an MC Drake is as he will only be able to rely on the technical aspect of his lyrical arsenal and his own wittiness to step over Kendrick Lamar. Nipsey. Now, while Drake is a pretty video. solid lyricist, it doesn't take Damn. an expert to tell you that Kendrick Lamar is miles better than him, so at this point, it seems pretty unfavorable that Drake will even be able to release anything more damaging than the shots fired off on like that, so knowing this... I think we shouldn't expect Drake to release another song like Back to Back because he can't, as there is nothing he can dig up on Kendrick to attack his character, and if he released something like he did at Pusha T with Dubby Freestyle, he would get even more embarrassed than he ever has. So at this point, I think there's really only two routes that Drake can take in this beat. Now on one hand, Drake can continue to just scream on stage and throw jabs through Instagram posts like he's a middle schooler, which overall 
We'll only give Kendrick Lamar the win by default because if after over a decade, that is the best you got. All of the excessive talking and all of the disses that Drake seems to throw out on every project he releases mm -hmm. all seem meaningless as when push comes to shove. He can't actually put his money where his mouth is, and aside from this route, which would seemingly manage to lose him even more respect in hip-hop culture than he already has, Drake isn't going to release a soul diss track aimed at Kendrick Lamar with Lamar and so many other heavyweights moving against him. What Drake may do is release an entire EP or even album in the vein of something like A Scary Hours 3, or even if you're reading this it's too late, that serves one goal. To clap back at all the rappers who are dissing him, but most importantly, to invalidate Kendrick Lamar's shots by releasing a body of work that shows Drake being a genuinely great rapper. With Drake recently dropping a record like Scary Hours 3, which showed us that he definitely can still rap, and with that, over some pretty amazing beats from producers like Conductor Williams and The Alchemist, it's clear that beyond all the gimmicks and all the cringy antics, there is still some part of him that can be a feared MC, and if he pushes himself to respond to Kendrick and all of the competition moving against him like this, while it most likely won't give him a win over Kendrick Lamar, it will definitely give him a respectable chance at standing his own, and as this beef is really here for Kendrick to settle the score against his biggest rivals, and also just turn hip-hop into a more competitive place as a whole. This would be the best case scenario for the entire genre, because if Kendrick Lamar can push Drake into putting enough dedication and care into a record that people admit that it's maybe even as good as his older work, this is exactly what this beef and a competitive hip-hop landscape are supposed to do. So with a heavyweight like Kendrick Lamar putting Drake and even J. Cole on blast now, they, along with every other player in the rap world, has to show up with their absolute best material know or not Cole show up at all going forward, eat. as everything they will do will be compared to Kendrick's verse and will either prove all of his shots to be right or wrong. So overall, while it's definitely certain that Drake is scared of Kendrick Lamar right now because he has no way to actually make a full diss track on him, Regardless of Drake's fear, this can either make or break his career as it can show him to be a fraud MC who may be able to dish out disses but can never actually respond when the pressure's at an all-time high, or it can show off his greatness in a way that we have never seen before as with the threat of being humiliated by his biggest rival ever, it may just cause him to do something that we have all been urging him to do for years, make genuinely great music. This is why a beef like this is truly amazing for hip-hop, because while everything else in the music world is subjective, by seeing the route that Drake decides to respond through once and for all, it will truly indicate to us the type of rapper who he is, as we'll find out if he deserves respect as a legitimate force in the hip-hop world who will always defend their honor, or if he's a fraud who's too afraid of damaging their image to even respond to one of the biggest threats they've ever received. With Drake clowning somebody like Meek Mill in the past for taking even less time than he has already to clap back in a full-fledged feud, things are already looking pretty bleak for him when it comes to even getting a point on the board against Kendrick, but as time unfolds and rumors spur around the industry that Drake is working on new material that very well could be headlined by a response, all we can do at this point is wait and see how Drake tries to destroy the rapper who deep down inside, he is terrified. Now, only time will tell to see how this beef really ends up defining Drake's legacy, but as we wait, be sure to subscribe to see how every rapper handles this situation, and if you want to see who I believe... Yeah, man, homie done said it all. All right, you guys, so that was Why Drake is Scared of Kendrick Lamar by the channel Fantastic Hip Hop, you feel me? Um, but yeah, he said it all, man, but y'all let me know your thoughts about this whole thing down in the comment section down below man you already know it's boomer and you're watching bali star make sure to leave a like support the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new so that we join up with the bomb squad you dig yeah man i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one 100 mm. yeah yeah, yeah.